Ouch. What's the Ouch. your first count? Um, man, I mean, a lot uh, uh, more than I more than I wish was. <laughs> I'll say that. I'll say more than I wish was. Okay. That's fair. I I don't want to break down the mystique. I think it's a good idea to just imagine what is and isn't real. Um, so I know that you guys are going to have a lot of questions, so I'm just going to ask uh, another one real quick um, because I happen to be listening to uh, Conan O'Brien's podcast that you were on recently. Oh. Uh, and one of the things that I love about this movie is how it depicts texting and the angst of what to send and how to externalize it. And on the podcast, you were mentioning how you met your wife electronically and the first months of your relationship were all text-based and you didn't know each other. So I'm curious yeah. how that might have factored into the performance here. Is that something you thought about? Uh, well, mine, uh, mine fortunately had a much more uh, benign ending uh, than what you just saw, unless you're about to reveal that you were Meredith the whole time. I don't know. Um, like Meredith, dude. But, yeah, but, there, but you, you really did capture the um, not only did you capture the wondering what to write next, but the thing that I remember a lot of anxiety when uh, my, my wife and I's first three months, we just texted, never spoke, never saw each other, it was all, and that moment when you send something and then you see the three little periods and you're wondering what they're about to write and you, that, that little moment of anticipation, I, that brought me back to a lot of that, the early days, so yeah, nailed it. All right, I'm gonna start out here. Any questions? Nobody. I'm. I'm. You're shy. Oh, here we go. Um, so I would say that probably somebody would maybe go to therapy after this. But you, why did you decide to reveal this kind of story to the public? It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I. I. I don't know. As a filmmaker, I. I feel like this is my therapy. Like this is my way to be like to take what I'm feeling and like express it. I mean, I do go to therapy as well, not just for this, but for all, all many, too many other things. But, uh, but I mean, this is like the way for me to make. Like my my dad always told me, like you got to have a sense of humor about things, and, and so that's what I try to do about any dark shit that's happened in any way. I just like laugh about it and turn it into something fun and relatable. Was there a time in which you were thinking about making this where you thought about not casting yourself? There was, yeah, I, was, I, I made offers to other people. I didn't think anybody would let me play myself. I mean, it's like a big <laughs> risk for somebody to take for me to direct and act. And uh, our, our producer, Lauren Hance was, and Bill Sturt, all these guys were super supportive of the decision. Uh, and they were like, you definitely should do it. And then when we jumped in, I mean, Pat, you were really the first person that I went to with it. I went to Pat's house and we like screen test, we like just, just to see if it made sense. Yeah. And and we both loved the idea. And so, so we brought it to the rest of the team. Cool. Now you have a question up here. Yeah, I, I absolutely love the movie. It's Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm curious at what point in the writing process you decided that you needed to physicalize all the texting and how that came about. Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I, I, I feel like we, I mean, texting is relatively a new thing. It's like 10, 20 years old. Uh, and we've seen a lot of movies try to do it where it's just like you're seeing text messages and, and we're all on our phones all day long. We don't want to come see a movie and be on our phones for another hour and a half. So it's like, how do you make that cinematic? And uh, I don't remember exactly how that idea came to be, but it's like when you're when you're texting with somebody, it really feels like you're in the room with them. Like it, fe you know, the timing of the way the messages comes come across, it's all very. It feels like they're there. So I, I thought it'd be best to have them there. And did you have one too? Yeah, I was curious. You worked with a lot of comedians on this. Did improvisation come into like the script at all? Or like it, it definitely did. Yeah, I mean, I'll, most of it is scripted, but I I feel like uh, we, you know, it, it was. I'd want to get it exactly, and then I we'd be pretty loose a lot of the time. Yeah, and I mean, so much of what these guys brought to it was, you know, were their own ideas and stuff. And I, I, I mean, all these guys are great. I'm curious a bit about casting Becca because your performance is so good, yes. and <laughs> it, it's so good. I'm curious what the casting process is like. What about crafting the character? Yeah, I mean, so. I, I saw Claudia's audition and I was blown away. And then we met a few times over Zoom and like she just has a very like collaborative and she's just like the 
fucking cool. She's like really cool. Uh, so, uh, and she's an amazing actor. I mean, she just, all of her work just feels so real and she brought this vibrancy to it. Um, and then we just decided it, it made sense for, for her to play the role. Yeah, I think it was so fun to add so many layers to imaginary Becca because I'm your dad, I'm gaslighting you, I'm also like flirting with you and um, that was like such a fun part of it and also just creating this idea of like I suddenly am here now in this physical world because of you so there's that sort of googly eye fascination that I wanted to channel in those scenes um, which I think was just like so fulfilling and so fun to do. Yeah. <laughs> Loving your dad. <laughs> Do you still live across from your dad? Um, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so I actually came here because of Claudia. I've been following the personal combat for years. Like, so to see you on the big screen and really change is amazing. Wow. Thank you. I really appreciate you saying that, thank you. Um, yeah, I think it was a constant balance with everyone on the team. It was a conversation we were all always having. It was like, try, you know, threading that needle was really tricky. And then uh, we had a great cinematographer, uh, Steve Kalitri. We had a great composer, <laughs> uh, you know, and, and a lot of other people on our team. And I feel like that was a collective conversation we were always ha having was just uh, like, how, you know, sometimes we'd edge it a little too dark and then it would feel like Chuck was creepy and we liked him less. And then sometimes it was a little too funny and it kind of trivialized what was actually happening. So something that was important for us was that like the movie's very much from Chuck's perspective where he's kind of like trying to keep it light and he's, but he's like, he's like manically kind of panicking while trying to keep it light. And, and I, we wanted the movie to have a little bit of that quality to it where it was like, this urgency, but also like trying to juggle, you know? Thanks. All right, we got time for one more question. Oh, yeah. um, my favorite scene was during the laser tag when everybody started to figure out what happened. And I loved how the score took over everything and you couldn't hear the conversations. But um, first question is like, how did that decision come up? And second of all, what was that score from? Yeah, that's a great question and thank you. Uh, I mean, so it was a pretty late in the game decision. My editor and I were just sitting there and we were like, you kind of know what's happening here. You don't need the score. I had always, uh, I had gone with the score. I, I, that, that, it's like from a, it's, originally it was from an old timey movie. Uh, it was from, uh, we originally had a score from Vertigo. Uh, and then we decided that this was, we wanted to create like an original piece to support this. We, we didn't want it to feel derivative in that way, but we did want to have that same feeling of like this Hitchcockian kind of like a little bit pushing the drama, the melodrama of it a little bit, because that's kind of how it feels in that moment. Um, but yeah, you know, I think that's all our time for questions, but guys, it, thank you so much for, What's that? Your brother has a question. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. I'm so scared right now. What, what are you gonna what are you gonna ask? I wanted to know how you prepped Pat to play our dad. <laughs> oh man. Um, <laughs> uh, without saying any oh thank you. Well, thank you so much. Hi, uh, Alamo. Um, without revealing too much, I was uh, privy to uh, some written material and some recorded material and i will leave it at that there you go and thank you please go on your apps and vote for us for the audience award it mean the world to all of us thank you all so